a whole bunch of people are coming over and our toilet is not working. We think one of our butterflies is getting ready to emerge from his chrysalis. So we have a little studio set up here in the kitchen so we can film it when it's coming out. While we were not looking, we weren't filming, it actually came out of the chrysalis and we missed filming it. <laughs> we missed it. Mom, is this a girl or is it a boy? Hey, hey. A few weeks ago, Justice flushed his underwear down the toilet. We got them out and we thought everything was better. I don't think we can use the toilet at all. I'm not being overly dramatic. It just doesn't flush. It doesn't plunge. There's actually standing water in the bath right now. At very least, I need to dig up the septic tank and have someone come out and pump it. But there's no time to do that right now. So we're gonna have to come up with another solution for our party. What a nightmare. 20, maybe 30, 40 people coming over and no place to use the toilet. I do have an idea. I think I'm gonna make a little bathroom in here. I've gotta get this place cleaned up. And then I'm thinking of putting a simple composting toilet in here, but I'm gonna put the camera away and get to work because I have like an hour and a half to get all this done. Today's the day of the big party and we are cooking like crazy in the kitchen. We have a gorgeous butternut squash soup. I have some more butternut squash here to make some muffins, which Joyful is helping me make muffins right now. Thank you, Joy Joy. You're doing a good job. We have really delicious um, apple cider that Arthur's family pressed from his grandma's apple orchard last year and veggie beef soup. The oatmeal raisin cookies uh, aren't gonna make it to the party. This morning we woke up and Justice had eaten all of them except the little bit of dough left that was in the fridge. So we're just eating them ourselves today. We don't have enough to share. <laughs> We've had a few hitches in our plan. Arthur's outside making a composting toilet really quick because our toilet's not working at all. I, again, pretty excited. A lot of people have RSVP'd that they're coming, which is exciting. It's a cold, rainy day instead of like a beautiful, sunny day. And we don't have a toilet. So the party must go on though. We'll let you guys know how it goes. Grace is helping me by entertaining Brighton. Check this out. <laughs> Did you hear him say boo? Can you say boo? <laughs> Woo, it's about 3.30. The party's already starting and I have my friend Rochelle. Y'all know Rochelle. Hi. And my friend Rebecca. Y'all know Rebecca too. <laughs> hey now. And there's Justin. There's Justin and Mr. Brown. The party has arrived. I know. <laughs> so exciting. So Rebecca has a present for me and I just can't wait to see what it is. It is a five gallon bucket of honey. No. -uh. <laughs> it's like almost full and it's pretty much, there's no way we're going to finish it before January. Oh, well we will. So I was like, <laughs> this is an amazing gift to you guys for oh. your new house. I was gonna bring you some anyways for our project together. Right, right. But then the Justin's like, let's just take them the whole bucket. No. Like, yes, this is a good idea. So. You're crazy. <laughs> Happy home morning. I wanna open this bucket. Yeah, that's a little less gross. It's good. It's so good. Look yeah. what they brought us. It is a five gallon bucket of honey. Jump in. <laughs> you wanna go swimming? Dive on in. If you wanna taste it, taste the lid, honey. Taste the lid. We're already off. there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. Time to close the honey lid. The kids are coming in. Rebecca and Rochelle showed up early, which is awesome because turns out I needed a lot of help. So they're gonna go help me decorate the barn. Look at our pretty flowers. Rebecca made those. Look at how beautiful. They're so pretty. So classic. Hi. You want the Let's just put everything on this table. Okay. Because I don't think this is how it's gonna look. Grace and Jonah are gonna show us how to use a composting toilet. Is anyone in here? No, I just put some stuff in front of it. We got a privacy curtain up. How do you do this, Gracie? You. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first step. 
Open the toilet lid. Second step is you sit on the toilet and you do your business, right? <laughs> and then step three, when your business is done, wipe. You wipe. <laughs> you wipe? Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you take a scoop of cedar shavings and you drop them in the bucket. All right, then you shut the lid. Then you wash your hands. Then you wash your hands at the hand washing station. You wipe them with this and then sanitize them. Yay! I'm opening up these two doors they used to use probably to load stuff into the upper section of this barn. We've never had these doors open before because kids could fall out and it's a whole story down to the ground, about eight feet to the ground. But we're opening them up this evening to let more light in the barn and it's just gonna be a beautiful view out here. My mother actually lived in Malaysia when she was about six years old. And that's where they got that horse. And every generation has been riding it since then. Awesome view, what a window. This is looking amazing. We've got a great setup in here. Room to socialize. Welcome, Priscilla. <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad to be here. Hello, welcome. So we're having a great gathering. Brianna called me over to show you this apple pie. What a great get together. I was especially thrilled with that apple pie. Our friend and neighbor actually picked the apples this morning from the tree at her house. Hey, Joyful. I can't find you got to get shoes on. It's I cold can't out here. Find any. I don't think it's cold. You got to get shoes on. Why are you wearing a hat if you don't think it's cold? <laughs> I'm just wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming out. Justin, yes. appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see y'all in just a couple weeks. Yep, the turkey, the turkey butchering, November 6th. You still got it on your calendar? Yeah. The party's basically over now. There's just one more family, our really good friends who are here, and we're getting ready to clean things up and call it a night. What a fun time we had. Good night, Joyful. What was your favorite thing about our party? Under the bunch of friends. Really? And we ate muffins. <laughs> if you've watched many of our videos, you know that I used to keep bees and 60 pounds of honey <laughs> is like a treasure. I don't know if you've ever taken the lid off a jar of 60 pounds of honey, but I can smell it already. And that reminds me of processing really large quantities of honey when I was a kid. Mm. This honey will last us probably about two weeks. <laughs> Happy anniversary. That's our anniversary. It's our homestead's anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> sweet kiss. That was a sweet kiss. <laughs>